Hi guys and welcome to a new Nendoroid box opening and review video and today I have with me Saber Arthur Prandragon and little story about this one so I kind of really wanted Arthur and I couldn't find him anymore and then I managed to find him on the website and I order of course the cheapest version and then I realized that there was two versions and I wanted the one with the clock and the one I ordered wasn't with the clock so this is the prototype version and so he comes with his sword but basically that's it he doesn't have as much accessory he doesn't have the hood he doesn't have the clock and he doesn't have the extra sword and he doesn't have the light thing um, like effect of the sword thing so this is a prototype version and I discover that like not even two hours after ordering him. So what I did was I sent an email, well my husband wrote it, the email to the um, company and I just told him to forget it because they didn't make exchange normally. And he was like, no, it's okay, I'm gonna send them an email and blah blah blah. So he decided to send them an email. So he sent them an email to actually tell them that, okay, I, I did like this uh, order two hours ago so it's probably not processed yet because it was kind of midnight so they would actually see the order on the email first thing in the morning so could you please remove this one from the order and they said no so basically I end up with the very very cute but still prototype version of Arthur from Dragon without the clock so I was thinking maybe I will get the other version later that's a possibility or maybe I'll try to make a clock for him like with felt or something so I don't know but he has a killer smile he has this face with a killer smile like ah! so I'm kind of mm, I don't know guys but anyway I think he's still cool he's just missing accessories and I'm I really like my accessories so anyway guys, uh, I'm going to open him for you and show him to you from close up. So this is Saber from the Grand Order Fate and it's Harder Pandragon, the prototype version, as I said earlier, because I kind of made a mistake, but anyway, that's my little King Harder. So let's open him up. Or maybe I should show you the box first. So you have an attack picture here. Let me remove the store sticker. So you have a picture here with an attack. You have this killer smile here, which is kind of funny. You have like gathering power sort of pose here and yelling as well. So he has like three different faces and one sword. And probably a few hands uh, according to what I can see on the box so let's see time to open Ooh. sorry I'm making a mess with this box okay so uh, he has a blue background and of course the little book that tell you everything about him so like English version and Japanese version and so here you can see everything he comes with so he's got two extra pair of sorry he's got two extra pair of arms he's got one hand he's got two extra faces and a sword See? Killer smile. <laughs> I kind of like his little faces. I kind of like all of his faces. He doesn't have any creepy face at all. So... Oh, maybe... Let's see. There is a stand down here at the bottom. So let's see if there is extra with the stand. No, it's just the stand and of course the neck peg. Just in case you break yours. Let's remove all the plastic from Arthur. 
It's got a cool armor. So it's got a, a lot of cool hair shape thingy. Like all the strand of hair are just in crazy direction. I'm I'm kind of afraid of actually breaking him because especially this little part here. So that part is actually on the front front hair. So plastic is removed here. It's got plastic around his neck too. And, and the line is not straight. You can see there is a sort of shape here. It's a nice coloring too. It has like a lot of shadow. Different hair color. On the up. At the back, see, it's like lighter on the top and more dark at the bottom. So, oh, it's, it's got the hood. I was gonna say it's got the hood, and then I pulled it, and the hood jumped. So, he's got the hood, he just has a tiny little hood instead of the big hood that can cover his head on the other version. You is losing the hood. The hood is actually attached with a little hole here, and I probably didn't put it fully down. So. All right, here we go. Back where it belongs. So he's got this hood, which is kind of look modern style, and then he's got this like medieval sort of armor, and he actually got arms that bends. Which is cool. So he's got this. This is kind of like open hands, and he has those girly pants here on the other arms, so that he can hold the sword in both hands. Okay. So no more plastic. Yes, another little piece here, and I guess that's it. And he's got, yeah. And this part is actually kind of. Flexible, sort of. You can see that those pieces actually move. So you can put them back, and yeah, a little bit of motion here. So this is Arthur, and it looks like these eyes here are a little bit a different green sort of color than the other. It's kind of cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to zoom on him and show him to you from close up. So let's have our close up on Arthur, shall we? So here is my little Arthur. So he has like a lot of detail, especially on his outfit. So first let's start at the top. So he has a lot of little strand of hair making him a little bit wild, I guess, because he has his hair going in every possible direction. It goes in this side, it goes here, it goes up. Uh, he has those on the top as well. I need the same at the back, they don't stay stick on around his head, they go like all the way wide uh, out, it's kind of cool. So then he has super cool green eyes, I absolutely love green eyes, but those are super pretty. So on this uh, version of his head is like kind of looking straight at you, and you can see the different shade, I think it's like one, two, three, four different shade of... Um, green in his eyes so it's pretty cool and he has his little ball of grey at the bottom the center is sort of very dark green not completely black more very dark green so it's pretty nice and he has also two extra faces so you have the like, killer smile thing so he's looking on the side and he has his mouth like showing all his teeth and a bit of blushing so i think that's kind of adorable and funny at the same time and then he has this one which is more like the battle face where he's totally frowning and yelling and he's looking straight at you like he's gonna murder you and the shade of his eyes are slightly darker than the previous and the center especially is slightly darker than on the original um normal face like I'm gonna call it so that's for his face then he comes with this armor uh, so at the back he has this 
a hoodie here in black and white and then he has this sort of blues um, overall I would say it's like blue sleeves and blue dress I don't know how they call it at the time but on top of that he has this uh, armor in grey with all those details of little buckle here I don't know what they actually were used for it has like little lot of detail in the painting and also lots of detail in the sculpting because the shape is not just smooth it's got like kind of a stair style of thing and it, it's pretty nicely detailed even the little gloves you can see them uh, different places for the phalange of his fingers it, it's pretty neat really and then under that, so those part actually of the skirt part of his outfit sort of thing is like moving around a little bit. You can move them uh, slowly. You can probably also remove them because they're attached right here. And then his legs are also protected with that um, grey armor sort of thing. And it comes with two extra arms. So those arms actually are sort of the same as uh, the others, except that the hands are like they are like folded arms, obviously, and the hands have also he can actually carry his sword through both of them at the same time or separately, depending how. So and of course he has a sword because if he has swords and he needs a sword. So here is his sword. Uh, there must be a port that you can remove to be able to actually use those hands with a sword, but I haven't figured that part out yet. So, oh, here we go. You just pull on it and the sword part goes away from the pommel and you just put it back. So you can just slide the hands uh, like this. And now he's carrying his sword. Here we go. So basically that's it. Um, he doesn't come with a lot of accessory because he's a prototype version. But he still looks freaking awesome. You still have a lot of detail on his armor and stuff. So I'm kind of happy with him anyway. But I guess that's it for today guys. I'm gonna just go and take some pictures. So guys, what do you think about this Arthur? Uh, I'm kind of still bummed a little bit that he doesn't come with more accessory, And I know it's totally my fault for ordering the wrong version, but he's still cute. So yeah, um, hopefully I'll either get the other one as well so that I would have both of them and I will be super happy or I'll try and make something up for him. Um, but anyway, once he's going to be on the shelf in his own pose, um, it's going to be perfect. <laughs> That's going to be enough for me, I guess. But anyway, just um, while I'm taking picture, it's just, you know, a little bit troublesome not to be able to do like all the cool pose that you see on the pictures everywhere. But anyway, he's still a cutie, so I'm pretty happy to have him anyway. <laughs> My Arthur. <laughs> King Hunter fan right here. Anyway guys, so let me know in the comment section below what you think, give me a thumb up, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and I'll see you next time for something else, have fun whatever you do, bye! <laughs>